I said it was over for the Oilers after game two. It's really over now after game three. No team since World War II has come back from a 3-0 deficit in the Stanley Cup Finals, and the Oilers are not about to change that. I know I'm repeating myself here, but Florida is just better. It's undeniable. It's not one of those series where Edmonton is kicking themselves for making a few mistakes, for just giving away games. No, Florida is dominating. All playoffs, Barkov and the Panthers have shut down the top lines of other teams. And honestly, Edmonton might be their best work so far. It took three games not only for the Oilers to score five on five, but for a forward to score, which is insane. And now after game three, we've still seen the big dogs like McDavid, like Dreisaitl, most notably like Zach Hyman, who people were talking about potentially breaking the NHL playoff goal scoring record from registering a goal. Like we cannot overstate the play all around of Florida and of course of Bobrovsky. And not only is it a nightmare on the offensive end, it's been bad going the other way as well. It's hard to say that Stuart Skinner is the problem because he could let in 30 goals. It doesn't change the Oilers not scoring, but He's not saving anything either. His goals saved are a couple below expected right now. His basic stats just aren't good either. And I mean, last night was really just a series of heartbreakers for the Oilers. They started off pretty strong, I thought, a good first period. They're out shooting Florida, but any potential momentum evaporates with the end of the period killer. Four on four. Ekholm, he's just way too cute with the puck. Bouchard, I guess it's sort of on him too, but he gets back. They cough it up at the blue line. Ekholm has no fight in front of the net. Sam Reinhardt tips it in. one nothing. The second actually wasn't so bad. I saw a pretty interesting stat. The Panthers had 54 seconds of puck possession in the Ozone during the second and scored three goals. If that's not just a killer, what else is? 10 minutes in, it's tied up. I thought Edmonton was having a pretty good second. Just a bad play. Holloway looks like he's waiting for the pass. Let's his man get away. Skinner goes to play the puck. Doesn't. It pops out to Tarasenko. 2-1 Cats. A lot that went wrong in there. Ideally, someone is in a position to break up that play. The stick check or Holloway with his man. But, you know, they weren't. Then we get the most Florida goal of all time. Nurse haters, you'll like this one. The Florida forwards just terrorizing Edmonton behind the goal line. Nurse has the puck. It ends up being Bennett, I think, who knocks it off straight to Kachuk, who finds Bennett again, and that's a goal. 3-1 Panthers. And you know, I said a minute of ozone time in the period. Right there, that was like three seconds. That's all it takes. Anyway, five minutes left in the second. The Panthers would catch the Edmonton D up high. They'd go the other way, two on one. Rodriguez to Barkoff, and that's a three-goal lead. And all the Panthers would need, Edmonton made an effort. They had a good third, but they only scored two, so who cares? I'm not going to waste my breath, and I mean, that's going to be it for Game 3, and realistically, the Oilers are done. And probably the most insane story here has to be Corey Perry. Five years, four finals, soon to be four losses. He was obviously incredibly frustrated in this one. He's not been much of a factor. He's been on and off the roster. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this series. Such a disappointing finals, honestly. Like, congr not if you're a Florida fan, full of congrats to Florida, but they are just working Edmonton over to such an insane degree that it's not even fun to watch. Honestly, it feels like we haven't had a good NHL Stanley Cup final in a while. Vegas versus Florida was awful. That game five was like, I think it was 9-3. Not even entertaining. Colorado, Tampa. I don't know. That, I guess, to be fair, not bad, but Colorado was stacked. Tampa, Montreal may have been the worst of them before this series. Tampa, Dallas was pretty good, I guess. And St. Louis, Boston was fun. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts.